based on what you've, you've learned about God and as you've fallen more in love with God, how, how have you experienced and how do you see justice and the gospel being related? That, that, that's so important because this nation compromised justice and it made the greatest statement of justice in the history of the world. It was superior to the Magna Carta. When they made that declaration of independence, there is no statement in history that's greater than that. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all human beings are created equal and endowed by their creator with certain rights, chief among those a life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We're going to make an expression of the kingdom of God of this nation, that we're going to be one nation under God with liberty and justice for all. And then we went on then and started to eliminate the Native Americans and bringing slaves into this country. You don't now compromise justice, and you're going to build now something, and then you're going to build some amendment to a constitution that is the greatest constitution in history. This generation now have the opportunity. We can't even go back. We got to go forward because we're becoming a global community. And, and we and people are affirming their own dignity and fighting for it, committing suicide bomb for that freedom. Now we have a chance, the church, have the privilege of living out. Let me tell you what the gospel is. The gospel is the good news that the atonement for sin has been accomplished and that justice is possible. That's what makes it good news. Go tell it on the mountain, <laughs> over the hills and everywhere. Go tell it on the mountain that Jesus Christ has born and made a sacrifice and the day of Jubilee is here. It's an explanation for God's justice and that we done push it under the road. God is pulling it back. The gospel is that story. Tell me the old, old story. Tell me the old, old story of Jesus and his love. We done forgot what it is. And we done made it an individualistic, selfish explanation of our own personal prosperity. In the light of God, the incarnated God coming into the world, we are at a moment in history. We need at a moment of discipleship in the gospel. We got to go back to the basics of the gospel and tell this story about God's justice. The Jubilee is here. We can have the forgiveness of sin. We can have salvation. Listen to this verse. Listen to this verse. For the grace of God, and y'all know what the grace of God is? The grace of God is God deciding by himself without anybody's help that he would redeem this humanity and that he puts together, what is the grace of God? The grace of God is all the redemptive truths like justification, sanctification, salvation, reconciliation. You put all that together and what you have is the grace of God. For by grace are you saved through faith. And that grace and faith is not of yourself. It is a gift of God. God took it on himself. God has done it all from beginning to the ending. And he brought salvation. And salvation is a total redemption. It's in three tenths. He saved us from our past, from Adam's sin and death. He saves us in the present, now unto him that is able to keep you from falling. He forgives us of our sins day by day. And then he's going to take us to heaven to live with him. And nothing, absolutely nothing, death, hell, nothing can separate us from that love. We have a complete salvation. We ought to be ventures. There ought to be a sense of gratitude of what God has done for us. Look, the grace of God, look here, the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all mankind. And it ought to teach us something that denying ungodliness and worldly lust, that we should live sober, righteous in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearance of our Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might purchase to himself a people zealous to do good works here on this earth. Ain't no separation between grace and faith 
It is no separation between social environment and loving God. It's unfortunate that we have separated that mm -hmm. in our society. It ought to be a response by those he created us. For by grace are you saved through faith. That faith is not of yourself. That faith is a gift of God, not of our own works, lest anyone should vote. But he created us so that we might do, be his replacement. The church of Jesus Christ is the body of Christ here on earth. It is God's walking in flesh here on earth through you and me. We got to come back to basic discipleship. We have let our own selfish, greedy will be the end of God's grace. And he wants to deem us from ourselves. We are addicted to ourselves, mm -hmm. and God has offered a grace that can redeem us. What an offer. You folks understand it. That's why you're here. God, God. <laughs> it, it's, it's, really, it's really a matter of us just sort of rehearsing it again, and then really God is pulling us out into the world mm. to do that. Mm. Thank you. So